Okay. How are you doing there? We just coded in some action script, and I hope that made sense. The actions panel does get a little bit confusing because there's so much in here. Forget about all this stuff up here. That's from the previous exercises when we were setting up those URLs. It's really just this content that we're after. So, you know, you can even look at this code and start to break it down. What we're doing is we're targeting the instance name, the button instance name. We're saying, hey, we want to add in something called an event listener. The event is a mouse click. And when the mouse gets clicked over top of this button instance, we're going to play a function or trigger a function called stop the movie. Where's stop the movie? On the next line down, stop the movie says, hey, find a movie clip symbol with the instance name, my movie clip, and do this to it. Stop it. That's all we're doing, okay? It's kind of a perhaps a convoluted way to pull this off, but this is how it works inside ActionScript 3, okay? All right, the moment of truth. Let's see if this works. Go ahead and preview your movie. Controller Command Enter, of course. There's our spinning movie clip symbol, our spinning pumpkin head. If I click on play, nothing happens. If I click on stop, sure enough, the movie clip stops playing. How do you like that? So if your pumpkin head stopped spinning, that means you coded your action script correctly. Congratulations, awesome stuff. So we got it to work. That's the good news. The bad news is we can't get it to play again. How do we get it to continue playing? Well, that's what we'll do next. We're gonna get the play button now working to get the movie clip to continue playing, all right? So I'm gonna close out of this preview window and back into regular old Flash, back into the actions panel, we've gotta throw in some additional action script code, all right? So at the very bottom of the actions panel, after that closing curly bracket, go ahead and hit enter a few times there on your keyboard, maybe more than a few times if you wanna give yourself a little bit of white space. And what we're gonna do is very, very similar to what we did earlier here, rather than targeting the button instance with the instance name of stop movie, now what we're going to do is we're going to target the button instance with the instance name play movie. That's our play button, right? So play movie period add event listener. There we go. Open bracket and then mouse event. And I'm going to put in a period after that. And what I want to have happen is I want to trigger something when the user clicks their mouse down, again, just like we did before, followed by a comma and a space. And then I'm going to call this play the movie. How's that? Okay. Closing bracket, closing semicolon. Perfect. So as you can see, this line of code that you and I just typed in is very similar to the first line of code that we had put in to stop the movie clip, okay? So we've targeted our button instance name and we are setting up a reference to a function. Let's go and build the function now. So down at the end of this line, I will hit enter a few times and then begin building my function. So function space and then play the movie. There we go. And then open bracket, lowercase e, full colon, and then mouse event. And again, we're getting a little bit of code assistance along the way, which is nice, followed by a closing bracket, and then enter, and then throw in an opening squiggly bracket there, and then enter one more time. Of course, the actions panel helps us out by closing things up for us, just like it did previously. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in my movie clip. What do I wanna do to that movie clip instance name? called my movie clip when this button is clicked well i want it to play followed by opening bracket closing bracket semicolon just like that all right once again another moment of truth go ahead and hit controller command enter on your keyboard into your preview and of course our stop button works let's try the play button the play button works as well so now we can stop and play this movie clip using our buttons on the stage, okay? Does that make sense? I really wanna make sure that this makes sense. What we coded into the actions panel here, again, we're just targeting instance names and we're telling those instances to run a function. The function says, do this, sorry, do this, play or stop 
to a movie clip with the instance name that we've specified, okay? So you might wanna take a moment and just, you know, maybe let this percolate for a little while and let it process a little bit. It's actually really, really straightforward when you kind of break it down and start thinking about it. And all of a sudden, the world of action script and the world of possibilities inside Flash starts to open up to you.